What's going on everyone, Matesh here, and today we're going to be talking about something new from Soundcore. This time, however, it's not another pair of true wireless earbuds. This time, it's actually a Bluetooth speaker. This thing right here, this is the Soundcore Flare 2, and it is a 20-watt Bluetooth speaker with 360 degrees sound from Anchor that also has RGB lighting. I mean, do you need to know any more of this before you go buy it? Probably not, but today I have for you guys my full review of this anyways. And as always, Soundcore did send this out to me for the purposes of this review, but as always, I don't do paid reviews and they're seeing this video for the first time, same as you guys are. So with that out of the way, let's get in the review. All right, so we're gonna do this review a little bit differently than normal. We're gonna talk about some of the things that I really don't like about this before we get into the things that I do like. So we're gonna start off first of all by talking about the controls. And right there are the controls. You guys can see you got four, five buttons actually. You got the power, volume up and down, and then this light button, which changes up the RGB lighting. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's got, a, it's got five different, six different modes built in. Um, it's nice, you can actually customize the lighting with the out, but the thing that I actually don't like about it is the buttons themselves and the fact that they are black on black and it makes them really, really hard to see in the darkness, especially with the fact that the top of this is like a concave shape so that it's really hard to see, like light has a hard time hitting it if it's not at like the perfect angle. Like if I just cover this thing with like a little bit from the light, I can't see it at, see the buttons at all. And the fact is they are symmetrical, so they are a little bit hard to just feel out also. So it's a small thing, but just don't love the buttons. I really wish it would have just made them white so they're easier to sand out, but it's a small thing. I just don't love them. Also the color, the control scheme on this is a little bit weird. So once again, four buttons, five buttons actually. So the power button does power, volume up and down does volume up and down as we already know. They, however, this time they don't actually double as track forward and back instead. This middle button, the Soundcore logo is actually a button. And if you push it once, it's play pause. If you push it twice, it's go forward and push it three times to go back. So it's a little bit weird. Um, you'll get used to it. It's just kind of a weird thing to do. Uh, and then another thing that I don't love about the speaker is the fact that on the back of this, you don't get an aux in. So this speaker, you could, the only way you can pair to it is with Bluetooth. Not a big deal personally for myself, but some of you out there may care. And the fact is other Bluetooth speakers do offer this feature. So the fact that it's missing on here, that may be a deal breaker for some of you out there. Still not a huge deal for me. Like I don't connect anything but my phone and like laptops and stuff to this. So all of those have Bluetooth. If you wanna like connect this to your desktop for whatever reason, and you don't have Bluetooth on your desktop, you won't be able to. Just something that I feel like you should know. Something that other speakers offer that this one doesn't. And finally, the last thing that I don't love is the shape of this thing. So as the name is, Soundcore Flare, this thing does tend to flare out at the bottom. Now it looks visually, it looks really, really nice. I just kind of wish it was just a straight cylinder th so that I could throw this thing inside like the water bottle compartment of my backpack. So it would just fit in there really nice and easy and just make the thing carrying around a lot easier. Especially since this thing doesn't have like an easy way to carry this around. This thing is really meant to be just sat down and that's how it's supposed to work. I would love to be able to just like wrap this around my wrist or something. Just make, things, make this thing a little bit easier to carry or put inside my backpack or something like that. But there's nothing like that out here. You can definitely take this outside still. This thing's actually IPX7 certified so that you can actually even throw this inside of a pool and it'll be fine. So great for pool parties, but it's not really great if you want to take it out on a hike or something like that. But yeah, the shape itself just doesn't lend to easy portability. So something you should know. Now, in terms of things that I do like, I love the sound quality on this thing. And you know, against my better judgment, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a sound quality test. Now, just be aware. What you're hearing is not probably what I'm gonna be hearing when I listen to this in person because it's going through my microphone, it's coming out through my processing, and then it's going into whatever device you're listening to this on. So this is not meant to be representative of what it's going to sound like, but I will do a comparison between what my phone speaker sounds like and what this Bluetooth speaker sounds like, just so you guys can get an idea of what it sounds like and what it can do for you.
All right, so there you guys have it. That is a quick little sample of what this uh, speaker sounds like. And I think it sounds really, really good. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, it also has bass up technology. If you guys can see this button right there, that's bass up. It's activated right now. I just turned it off. And what that does is it increases the bass a little bit. I haven't found that it makes that big of a difference in most of the music that I listen to, but it does add a little bit more bass if you want it there. So that's there for all those of you who love bass. Uh, back here also, if you can see, there's got this uh, Bluetooth button. I love this button because it makes it really easy to put this thing into pairing mode. You just tap it once and it goes into pairing mode and you can pair it up to any new device that you want to. So that's really nice. So the purpose of the button really is so that you can pair more than one of these together. So this thing, you can theoretically pair a hundred of these speakers together. Now, is that really practical? No, it's really not. But you know, I was thinking about it, I think the only situation in which that actually might make sense, at least pairing more than one together, is that if you have one of these things and if your friends have one of these things and you guys decide to have a house party, you guys can just bring your speakers along, pair them all up as one giant speaker array and just play your music through that. Now, if you guys wanna see 100 speakers played, I, I think Linus Tech Tips they did a video, you guys can check it out up here. Um, but I only have the one, so I haven't really tested out this feature. I've heard it's pretty easy, so. That's good. Now one thing that kind of sucks is the fact that you, if you do pair more than one of these up together, you can't use them as like a left and right channel. So it is just gonna be mono speakers. They're just gonna be playing at the same time. So it's fine. I just, I really wish you could have used them as like left and right channels so you can get like stereo sound, but it's fine. They work, at least you can pair them together. And the only thing I wanna talk about was the app. So there is of course a Soundcore app which you can use to connect to the Flare 2 and it works just fine. You can actually control the volume from there as well. You can go to the equalizer and change it to just three different. This is a little bit disappointing for me. This is another one of those things that's just a little bit disappointing is the fact that there's only like three or four different uh, EQs you can change it to whereas for like the other true wireless earbuds there's like 20 or more. So that's a little disappointing. Um, it is there, uh, in here in the section you can control the light. So you can see it's, right now it's on the party time light. Let me just go ahead and focus this on. And then I can switch it over to phasing beats. And you can go inside, you can also customize what colors are shown. So you can see it just changed right away. Take a color away and it should update by itself. There we go, it's just orange at this point. You can just have just green or purple. So yeah, you can customize this one. There's also the bouncing beats where it just keeps doing this animation, I guess. And you can decide what colors you want in there as well. Uh, there's a circle beam where it just goes around in a circle and you can also customize this by changing the colors as you guys can see. Uh, cool breath is just a breathing in and out. So it goes dim and there we go. And then we can play a little game with this who's next, so it'll just keep blinking. I don't really know, I don't see myself using any of these, but hey, if you need RGB lighting in your Bluetooth speaker, you have it right here. You know, like I said, it's actually got two rings, one on the bottom and one on the top, and they do sync up, so it is. It's a pretty nice little RGB display. It looks really nice, I think. So yeah, overall, if you guys are in the market for a speaker and you want it to sound good, of course, be loud and have RGB lighting, the speaker's for you. I think that in a lot of ways this thing is great. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention is the fact that Soundcore has been doing really good things by putting USB-C in all of its devices. So if you guys can check that out, oh, it's really hard to see. It's got USB-C on this Bluetooth speaker as well. So USB-C everything, I'm glad Soundcore is pushing their way to just having USB-C on everything. It's fantastic. And yeah, overall, I think the speaker is really good for anybody who's looking for a Bluetooth speaker and wants something that you can use for parties, pool parties, definitely. This thing is gonna be great for summer is coming up here and you guys wanna check this out? You can. But yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and definitely check out the links to where you guys can buy one of these for yourselves down in the description below. And with that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.